Yo, what is going on guys? Pompey here, bringing us live gameplay commentary, playing on some Fallout 4, and welcome back to Wasteland Restoration. This is going to be episode 3, you guys. Sorry about no video on Wednesday, but here I am on Friday, giving you guys a video of Wasteland Restoration episode 3. I have a couple of things to get out of the way that I want to talk about real quick, and then we will get started. Um, first of all, if you have noticed, I am in a different area than usual, and that's because I've decided to move the settlement to this mystical place known as Spectacle Island. Um, it's completely fortified with water, um, it's surrounded, it's an island, so it's uh, got a strategic advantage in my opinion. I'm not sure if uh, we can still get attacked, or maybe the attack frequency uh, will be lowered, I'm not sure how it works, or if it works like that at all. Um, but I have one quick uh, IRL update for you guys, and that is, um, as many of you know, I used to, well, some of you uh, original subscribers may know, uh, I used to work at a Hardee's um, a long time ago. Um, it was my first job, actually, and I quit there, and I jumped to jobs around a little bit, went to sell vacations, and I went to st uh, stock shelves for Meyer and whatever, and I ended up going back to Hardee's, some of you may or may not know. I've been there for only about a month, maybe not even a month and a half, you guys, and two weeks in, I was promoted to be an opening manager, and uh, yesterday I was told by our general manager that a Dunkin' Donuts district manager uh, asked if for me, um, and asked if uh, I wanted to open a Dunkin' Donuts, uh, be the general manager, um, and open the store. And whatever, and I took it. Uh, hopefully, um, you guys like Dunkin' Donuts, because if you do, that's great. We have something in common. Um, I have a store that is your favorite store. Um, but yeah, I'll be general manager of a Dunkin' Donuts at 18. Uh, a lot of people think it's really, I guess, uh, good. And I'm also making about $42,000 a year, uh, which some of the other people, I, I guess, for being 18, that's really good, because whenever I tell you know my parents that or whatever, their eyes get really wide, and they're like, wow. Um, but I thought I'd share that with you guys, let you guys know that, um, like, kind of how I've been doing and, uh, well, how things are going with me. Um, but I'll ask you guys, how, you know, how are you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing very good if you are. Let me know in the comments how you guys are doing and how your day has been. But we're gonna get right into this episode of Waste on Restoration. As many of you know from episode 1 and 2, we were in Sanctuary, located across the map. Um, right here we have nine settlers. Um, and what I decided to do is I decided to move here. Uh, I heard about this place in the video and I thought it was really cool. And uh, it's kind of hard to get because there is a workbench right in here. Uh, here it is right here. But you have to do a specific little mission to get it. And I'm going to show you guys how to get it really fast. I'm not going to be able to show you guys exactly what to do because um, I have already done it. But I'm going to show you guys basically the uh, logistics here. So you, you swim over here. you got to swim over here. I recommend the hazmat suit. If you guys haven't checked out my video on where to find that, it will be in the description. Um... So you're going to want to come to the other side of the map, or the island, depending on where you go, and you're going to want to go to this big boat right here, okay? Um, you can't miss it. It's got all these towers connected to it. You're going to want to run inside, and when you do, you're going to flip this circuit breaker. Um, I'll go ahead and activate your... Oh, I can't. Okay, so you're going to flip this on, because it'll be off, and it'll turn the power on. And as soon as you do that, there are going to be Myra Lurks everywhere. I'm talking Myra Lurk Hunters, Myra Lurk Queens, a King. They're going to be... The, the big ones, the Queens, they're going to be everywhere. And if you can make the run from the ship all the way up here into this little shack, there will be another switch up in here. And what you're going to do once you get up here is you're going to want to flip it. And as soon as you hit this switch, all the Myra Lurks will become non-hostile. They'll run away from you and you can pick them all off at once. Or you can slowly kill all of them. Or you can just kind of leave them because as far as I know, they're never going to bother you again. Uh, as long as that signal is on. But as you guys can see, this place is huge. It's humongous. I have a house bill. I'll show you guys that in a minute. But it's huge, a huge island. A lot of place uh, for housing and farming and whatever. But I'm going to show you guys the house I built up real fast. Um, it's just my base. And it kind of looks like garbage because I use the actual crafting system. Or the base building system that you guys know that I hate. But um, it's not too bad, I guess. It's pretty spacious. i got a staircase here. It's, you know, like I said, it's it's decent I guess and then you come up here and I'm probably gonna save what I can do up here and then you got my room up here so we're actually gonna go to sleep real quick so it's uh, daytime so we can get started and what we're gonna do in this episode is we're gonna get some water going and we're gonna get some like uh, we're gonna try and get some food growing like a farm we're gonna try and get the um, hun hunger and oh wow um, the hunger and the um, water uh, levels up a decent amount 
so that way, um, when we do decide to bring our settlers over here, whenever I get that, uh, local leader perk, whatever it's called, at level 25, which I'm almost to, by the way, we can go ahead and get everybody over here by creating a supply line, and we're going to put a re uh, recruitment beacon up as well. We're going to pop a rad X in just to keep all these rads away, even though we do have this um, hazmat suit on, and it does a fantastic job, but we're going to just try and uh, go at it a little more. Um, Anyways, so we're going to go ahead and get some water built up. we got to go to the workbench. Unfortunately, when you fast travel over here, over here you spawn all the way um, over there. So you got to run all the way over here, which sucks. But, you know, it's not too bad, I guess. So we're going to hop right in here. And I don't know if you even take radiation or, like, um, damage in here. So if you don't, that's awesome. That'd be great. So what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to find the water in here. There it is. And we're going to go ahead and build some water pumps. We'll go ahead and put them all, I don't know, we'll put them next to uh, where we're going to put the farm. There's already a little mm -hmm. farm area already built up, which is cool. So I guess that's kind of where we're going to keep most of our crops and whatever, uh, our food. So we're going to hop right in here. And I've already transferred all of the um, materials from Sanctuary, so don't worry about uh, watching a long episode of me just hauling stuff back and forth, because I didn't want to put you guys through all that. So we're going to try and get our water up to about 12, unless we're going to get it right on the money. And then we're going to put a water purifier in the water. And that's going to give us 22 water, which will definitely be enough. I know it's going to be enough because it's enough over at Sanctuary. We're going to stick it right there. Alright, and now we're going to put some food down. I have 17 carrots, so we can definitely do this. Um, actually, I want to put down something that gives you not 0.5 but one. We'll put down some mutt fruit. Uh, I can only imagine what that stuff tastes like. I feel like I feel like it would taste like dog, like a doggy sensation that comes to my mind whenever I think of mutt fruit. Um, luckily for me, I'll never get the chance to try it, which is great. All right, and I don't know if any of you guys were uh, a part of that thing at Target where they were selling. Um, Nuka Cola, uh, like a quantum version from Jones, you really make those Jones sodas or whatever. If you guys were, and if you guys actually tasted it, let me know in the comments how it tasted, um, and if it was actually any good or not, because I'm actually really curious. I didn't get a chance to do it because I didn't pre-order at Target, and I didn't buy it uh, at Target, which is uh, where who those people that were doing it. But like I said, if you guys uh, had the chance to taste it, let me know how it tasted, because I am very curious. Um... Someone told me it tasted like a, like a berry kind of drink. I saw that in a video. Um, I don't know why I said someone told me that because that's not true at all. But I saw it in a video and um, I was just curious on your all's opinion and uh, how it tasted. I would buy it just for purely, um, just for the, uh, just the appeal or like uh, to have it in my house as a bit of an antique type item. Okay, so we're going to leave these plants just uh, here. We're just going to, we're just going to plant these. And we're also going to put up a, oh gosh, let me do that. We're going to put up a scavenging station right over here. So that way people will bring in our own materials. And what we're also going to do is we're going to, oh, there was the, where the siren was. All right, no, no, I don't want to do that. Man, some of this crafting stuff makes me just want to kill someone. All right, we're going to hop over to, where is it? I think it's in power. We're going to go over to miscellaneous. We're going to get out our radio beacon, and we are going to set this up so people start coming over here because the sooner we get settlers, the better. And I'm also going to put a fast travel um, mat thing in my house uh, so that way I don't have to continuously run back and forth. We're actually going to put this radio beacon right here. Uh, may as well because it's right next to all this, and we got to power this up again anyway. So we're going to set this right here, we're going to throw a generator down, I think a small generator will be fine. Stick that right there, and this right here. Alright, and uh, I took in the tree cluster that actually made this thing work, but uh, it's no big deal because once you turn it on, the Meyer lurks just stay away, as far as I know at least, um, that's what happened with me. We're also going to put a generator up on my house, which is no big deal. We got Strong over there just staying around being lazy. Not helping. But uh, I'm really uh, looking forward to decorating my house uh, with you guys and maybe doing some, um, some, f uh, you, some of you guys like let me know what you want me to do to my house and uh, I'll, I'll do it. Uh, we gotta get out of mode to do this. And open it right back up. Alright, now we're gonna put a generator, no, a generator down because I have a light in here. 
What if I can put it on top of my roof? Oh, I can. There we go. Now it's not a big old pain in the butt. Where's my light? Oh, there it is. I wonder if it'll work itself out. No, it won't. All right. Well, come here. We're gonna put this over here then, I guess. Let's just stick it right here. Not too much of an issue. I just want this light to light up. I can't put it through the wall though. Require how much uh, electricity does this need? Just one. Well, I can't put the uh, generator in my house, you know, or in my room. That's just against, you know, everything. Do that and it will die. All right, I don't know what the deal is here. I did not mean to get rid of that either. Hmm. We'll put this right here, and then oh, I think I know what the, I think I know what the problem is. All right, let me show you guys how to do some home wiring here. Pompeii home wiring D. DIY or D, uh, DUI, do it yourself. We're gonna put a connector thing right there, up here, and we're gonna put another one over here. And then we're gonna put one right here. And this should do it. Hopefully, one of these will end up powering the light on its own. But if it doesn't, then we'll be able to figure this out some way or another. The light still is off. Alright. Jurassic times go for drastic measures. No. We're gonna put this wire. No. Go back. Attach wire. And then we're gonna open the door back up. This is so much work for one light. I don't know the shack. And then put another connector switch in here and let's see if it'll let us put this to this there we go finally got that stupid light lit up I think it looks like it's lit yeah it is oh it took a it took long enough oh now I can't turn it back on did I just like break whatever we'll see whenever I come home if it's wanna, gonna want to cooperate or not I wonder if I'll die if I jump off my roof that looks like I'll take some damage Oh, nope. All right, so, um, I guess that's gonna be the it for this episode, you guys. We did, we got the water set up, we got food set up, and we got a, a radio beacon or a recruitment beacon set up. Um, and yeah, I showed you guys my house, and I kind of showed you guys around the island a little bit. We'll do some more island exploration. We'll head over to those, um, those crashed ships if you got a chance to see them before it got all foggy. And before that uh, radiation storm hit. And we'll just uh, explore the island, and we'll get our settlers over here, and we will start... Uh, building our settlement back up. It's in Pompeii, you guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like and comment what you guys want to see next. Um, tomorrow, I'm not sure what I'll have up for you guys, but um, I want to make an announcement about uh, Wasteland Restoration. I'll be doing this once a week, so you guys have plenty of time to let me know what you guys want to see in the next episode. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. Uh, it's in Pompeii. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.